Hello, and uh, welcome to my stream. I'm JStation64, this is my second stream, uh, where I will be doing some chilled out gaming, playing some No Man's Sky today. Uh, and yeah, we'll jump straight into it, I think. Let's get going. Uh, let's try this one. Have you found the game? Yes, there we go. Excellent stuff. Righty, where does it start? Uh, boosh. So, if you joined us uh, my last session last week, I just started the well, I just completed the tutorial almost of No Man's Sky. So, got started through uh, the intro sequence. Most of my session last week was mostly trying to. Um... Oh, cool! I will hire that up. Thank you very much. Alt control scream. Uh, Welcome to the channel. Let me see if I can find my mouse and get that fixed. There we go. Um, is that any better? Oh, a bit loud maybe. Hello, is that any better? There we go. Hopefully that's done it. There we go. Uh, and we are back onto the planet. I'm going to actually lower my head phone down a little bit. Apparently when I've tweaked some settings, I've also uh, messed up the audio very slightly. There we go. Nice smooth start to the stream there. Uh, so yes, last time, um, if the audio is, is cool now, uh, for my... I could probably just speak up a little bit as well, it probably wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so last time I did the stream, it was mostly trying to get an idea of um, can I talk for this much time and play a game? Can I get physically get a stream going, like set up on my computer? So it's been nice uh, coming back to it again. I'm looking forward to digging into it now. I've got through my tutorial, got my ship up and running again. Uh, like a true spaceman, I have built a base, uh, which you might be able to see just over there. It's uh, a little tiny woodland cabin. Uh, and I have got some space to in, so I've been tasked with going to a space station, so that's where I'm off to now. Uh, which I think might... Oh, no, not enough launch through. What do we need for launch through? Here we go. You need fuel. Starship fuel. I thought that I had made this, but apparently I had not. I need some metal plating, which needs ferro dust. Which is probably why I was outside the ship in the first place. Let's get back onto that, shall we? Ferro dust, here we go. So, <laughs> it is a quality base. It is definitely not two cabins tied together with a little roof. There we go. And you might have just seen over here is my favorite. Oh, a quick analyzer of that. Scans confirm it is a rock. Uh, it's my f f favorite discovery, which is these guys. They are called. They are called. I can't see where the name is. Oh, it's an elderly one. Uh, where about on this list does it tell me its name? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, they are pretty adorable. They're just. Basically, just a triceratops, but with um, a tiny, tiny little head. Right, see. Uh, so we run. And you do that. There we go. Get a bit of a boosty. Righty, so let's get back to actually taking off so we're not stuck on this planet for the rest of this entire session. Uh... Righty, so let us build... Metal plating, which should let us build Starship fuel, which should let us take off in our Starship. So, select fuel, put it in there. There we go. Righty, let's take off. Hey, and there we go. We are off into space. And heading towards the space station. Oh, 
it's surprising that you can launch the uh, warp drive in atmosphere. Oh, this is well funky. Uh, <laughs> uh, if it's the first time you're joining us, uh, this is the first time I've played the game since its initial vanilla launch. So there's loads more new stuff. Uh, that base building that I had to do last session, that, that was all completely new. Never done that before. Uh, let's let's get there a bit faster, shall we? There we go. Okie dokie. It looks heavily branded, whatever it is. I'm hoping there are maybe some ships of the same style inside, because I could fly 11 in space. Here we go. Oh, the music's really kicking in for this bit. It really likes parking. Oh, there we go. Controls will be taken out of my hands. This is very cool though, I love this. Awesome. Oh, I've been turned around. And there we go. Parked on my first spaceship. That was my <laughs> mission complete, I guess. Explore and find the life forms to investigate the mysterious signal. Okay. Oh, there's a life form up there. Ah, there we go. Ah, there's just people chilling out. Look at this. Hey, guys. You've got a interesting face. Can I speak to you? Liquidator. Oh, that's not where I thought your mouth was. That's <laughs> uh, Poi, Lazwin, Dom, Vakin. Oh, so we learned that the word Vakin is the name of the species Vakin, uh, which is not a very useful bit of information, but at least it's coming up in conversation. Uh, alien is large and intimidating. Seems to be attempting to be friendly. Perhaps they know one who came before me. Hmm. I mean, I can ask about other travelers. I don't know what he's saying. Oh. 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 Oh, well, there you go. Liquidator. Uh, very abrupt conversation. Not one for. Not one for idle chit chat. But I mean, with a face like that, uh, you know what can you expect? This guy. Oh, we got a red version. Sentinel, hello. Oh, Hunter as well. Oh, very rude, very rude. No, nope, none of these words. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I hope that's a pleasant tone. Oh, no. Uh, perhaps you might recognize the signal mentioned in the base computer. Hey. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can chill out, buddy. I'm, I'm... Oh. A look of fear crossing their face when they hear it. The fear passes, they look at me strangely, but say nothing more. Get back to your iPod, buddy. That wasn't my... no. Someone stole my ship while I'm chatting to this guy. Uh... Ah, hello, little... Little tiny dinosaur. A merchant. Oh, hello, a merchant. I've got literal junk to sell to you that I found in several places. Gispavi. Uh, <laughs> chatters away, assessing me with beady, inquisitive eyes. Um, when I blink, I see that same red light stared at me at the distress beacon. That's very unusual. Oh, I guess. Oh, hello. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Wow, you are a creepy person, aren't you? Hello. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of Code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly into my exosuit. Very, very weird, very mysterious. Uh, crimson light fades away, and I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. Ah, I mean, that guy's having a good chat in the background. He maybe was wondering why I'm reacting so strangely. Uh, it's interesting that they've gone for like a text description of that rather than a visual in action. It makes it a bit um, tabletop role play, which is quite nice, a bit of theatre of the mind. Uh, I should leave. <laughs> oh, and he's also leaving. Uh, oh, no, he's... Oh, no, he's leaving. It's fine. Uh, perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Okay. 
Can I? I mean, you're you're a merchant, right? Can I not? Can we do some trade? Use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. Oh, nice. I forgot that I built a teleporter. That was one of the things that I built last session, the culmination. Oh, sorry, Betty, you just, just sat down. So annoying. Uh, beepa. Traces of fear. Surprise behind their eyes. Oh, oh I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to freak you out. You can go back to sitting. Uh, I do want to sell some junk, though. Hello, robot friend. A technician entity... Mavlek. Electronic life form pauses their work, looks up and focuses their mask lights on my visor. Oh, I could give some Corbax casing if I had some. Uh, touches my suit, strange symbols form in my mind, representing a concept I might learn. Oh, cool. Uh, ooh. I'm going to go with the Corbax symbol, I guess. You've learned the callback's word for callback. Oh, oh, that was a terrible mistake. <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks, buddy, for teaching me your language. Uh, oh, there's a teleporter here. Oh, man, they've made so many improvements to the game since I last played it. Uh, these places had maybe one or two people in them each time you went to them. Uh, and it was the exact same layout. You'd walk along a series of corridors and get to a room with a single entity in it. Uh, and now it's uh, a lot more alive, which is very exciting. Uh, this is a computer interface thingy, I think. Here we go. Ah, trade terminal. Here we go. Let's see if we can sell some stuff. Right. Uh, so, nope. Still getting used to an Xbox controller. So, uh, sellable items. Uh, D-pad for that. Rusted metal. Here we go. Uh, 484. 10,000 credits. Is that good? I don't know. Oh, the demand's up. So, I guess that's for rusted metal. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to carry that around anymore. I'll get myself some cash. Okay. 44,000 credits for salt. Sounds pretty good. And chromatic metal. Oh, quite a bit of valuable stuff here. Um... Decommissioned circuit board. Oh, these are the things that are in high demand or... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. These have a little bit up and down, and the other ones have, like, big up and down. Uh, so you can buy, buy low, sell high. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, so I might hold on to my ferret dust and my chromatic metal to see if I can find an area that wants it more. Um, what can I buy, though? Let's have a look. Uh, hydraulic wiring for advanced technologies. Does it tell me how much money I have? Oh, 20,000 units. Okay, that's not too bad. Starting off cash. Uh, wiring loom. Microprocessor. Gold. I did have gold, actually, I think, somewhere. Uh, okay. What I'm looking for, and I genuinely can't remember how to do it, is... Um, Nope, I don't want to be going anywhere. Uh, upgrade to my ship, upgrade to my suit, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, all, all control screen. Doing it in VR would be uh, pretty ridiculous, I think. Um, if you went first person for the whole thing, it would just be insane. It'd be very, very immersive. Uh, oh no, this is the same guy. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just pestering you. Sorry, little dinosaur man. Um, if I go through this portal, I'm... I'm a little concerned that my ship is just going to be left there. Um, when you have to use this? Oh no, it recommends it, so I guess we'll get a go. It's, it's my only <laughs> means off the planet, but you know, that's fine. Uh, I called it very creatively Echo Base. Uh, let's jump over there. Uh, warp to Echo Base. Sweet. Let's hope we can get back. <laughs> Ah, this is cool. It's the first time I've done any kind of warp transport in a game before in uh, No Man's Sky. The amount they've added, in, I think there are like there are mech suits and there are vehicles and uh, submarines you can build and like abandoned starships you can investigate. Uh, but unfortunately, what I have at the moment is this 
wooden cabin <laughs> that I've built with a teleporter outside um, and a single wire leading to it, as all good bases do. Uh, so, Echo Base. Oh, another shot of his butt. Here we go. Select your task. Begin decryption. 16, 16. Ah, that's the same code. Message follows. The traveller finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. I wouldn't call that a instruction. Uh, but a set of coordinates is quite useful. Where is the coordinates? Are they extraplanetary? Yes, they definitely are. Oh, my ship came with me! Oh, that's really useful. That's a very, very considerate service that they offer. Um, how are we doing for everything on the ship? Let's have a look. Uh, we've got plenty of pulse engine fuel. I don't know if I can recreate uh, recreate that. Uh, we've got plenty of launch thrusters, we've got weapons, we've got our shields. Uh, I've not got into a fight yet, thankfully, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, let's go and find what this place is. Uh, it's a nice trick they've done with the teleporter bringing your ship to you, because it's just basically just a, a time saver that way. Oh, look how beautiful planet rides, I guess would you call it? What's quite nice is it tells you how, how long it would take. If I continued at this current, uh, I guess, suborbital flight of 128 U's per second, it would take me three hours to get there. And if I boost, it would take me one hour. And if I go to warp power in, oh, in three, two, one, it'll take me 30 seconds to get there. Oh, no, something, oh, there we go. I thought something had gone terribly wrong. Uh, scan the planet, shall we? Irradiated planet. It's got salvageable scrap. Oh, insufficient fuel. Oh, okay, that's why I was kicked out. Oh. Shortcut. Uh, it's 47 minutes away. Uh, let's see if I can make some petrol for this thing, because that is a long time. Uh, oh, I have tried him. Boosh. Yeah, let's not do that, shall we? Oh, there we go. Boost. Make it so. Uh, so heading to Hesiau L29, an unmapped planet. So you can actually find planets that have been mapped by other people, because it's all one big shared universe. Um... Oh, we're taking you taking me straight into orbit. There we go. <laughs> there we go. No messing around. Um, this is a a lava planet by the looks of it. Or is that gold? Ooh, hello. Ooh, pull up, pull up. There we go. There's a landing site there. It looks like. Let's go see what this signal is first. Possible distress signal. Okay. Let's do this so we can get a bit of a bit of a look around. Oh, hello. Hold on. What was that large structure? Where did it go? I swear I saw like a a big. It looked like a big crashed spaceship. This is what happens when you fly upside down and aren't really paying attention to where you're going. Sort of pool of gold. A little base there. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just head to the signal and see if we can get through this section. Uh, and then it was. Excellent! No, landing sequence unavailable, okay. Let's find somewhere too high to initiate landing, okay. Let's see if we can land down here, shall we? There we go. This planet does not look very friendly. Um, environmental warning 
external radiation. Delightful. So we're going to have to be constantly... Let's... Anything I can scan here? Here we go. Scan these rocks. And you get cash for it. Nice. What is this stuff? What is this stuff? Oh, it's copper. Oh, okay. Uh, upload and rename. Oh, sweet. So, I think I can rename this planet somehow. Uh, secondary missions. Milestone, catalog, discoveries. Oh, here we go. Uh, so, first planet uh, <laughs> that I have discovered. Anyone got any suggestions in chat for what I should call it? Uh, let's get back there. Uh, on this warm, fiery, radiated planet. Uh, anyone got any suggestions? I'm thinking it's, it's, it's on fire. It does seem to be on fire. Um, Ghost of Sunny. Let's. Uh, I've got now. Uh, Fire Nation, put Fire Nation, Fire Nation, there we go, uh, which is a reference for um, Fire Nation, there we go, <laughs> hey, there we go, <laughs> excellent stuff, uh, right, let us save that down, sweet, uh, and this is the planet in the No Man's Sky world called Phylishonia. And it's home to minerals, one, uh, ten different kinds of fauna that I've not discovered, discovered yet. Uh, let's have a little mooch around. Right, so. We've got some more copper on, lots of copper on this planet, it seems. That's, oh. Target sweep mode. Oh, here we go. So I head in this direction. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait till I get like a, a jeep or something or a. I keep thinking it'll be like a, a the speeder car from <laughs> Star Wars: A New Hope, a little land speeder thing. Oh, it was it's some sort of crashed thing over there. Oh, and it's where we're headed as well. Oh, sweet. Oh wow, hello. What are you guys? A sweep Jupiter. Oh, they're pretty cool. That's yeah. They've also they've really increased the the variety of creatures. I mean, nothing actually looks quite scary. A platyoblatum. These things are very cool though, I'm a big fan of these guys. They look like um, kind of like Chinese dragons wafting through the sky. Collect them. Oh, I've unlocked the ambulatory. I have walked 15 kilometers. Oh, this place is very cool. I'm glad that I was right in that I did actually see, <laughs> see it crashed if I didn't imagine it. Uh, I've got another crystal fragment, whatever that is for. I think I could sell them maybe? Um, oh man, look at this bizarre, wow, oh, unidentified, let's see if we can identify it. Some sort of monstrous octopus plant. Oh play. Don't know what that means. Uh, but I'm supposed to be heading this direction. Right, come on. Let's collect some more of this stuff. I think this stuff um, helps with my... The plants seem to be a really good resource in that you don't have to mine them, you just pick them up and they seem to be quite, um, you get quite a decent amount. Are these new? Are these the same things? Ah, oh, they are. They're a different version of the Sky Dragons. That's really cool. Uh, I think you're going to be something different as well, aren't you? Are you a thing? Is that a creature? Oh no, it's just a rock. It was this thing that I was interested in, but nope, doesn't seem to be bothered. Uh, so, right, so I headed this way now, okay. 
This must be the top of the spaceship. Nice. Well, it didn't have a very good landing. The when I did my 24 hours stream last year, I did um, I did have some I did play on play this for like an hour. I did an hour for each each session, and um, <laughs> I hope it will be. Um, there we go. Can I open this? No, need a padless pass. Um, anything else interesting in these? Oh, here we go. Projectile ammunition. Interesting. Um, oh, I mean, this doesn't bode very well, though, does it really, if I'm getting all this projectile? <laughs> oh, so I think the blue things, maybe health ups? My health doesn't seem that high, though. I mean, I'm running low on... An awful lot of stuff. Ah, oh, there's some freaky noises going on. This is this is not bad. Well, I tell you what. Before we go over to that small arena area where things might go wrong, uh, I might refill my hazard protection if I can do. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and also my life support is not doing too well. Uh, and that's the last time I re recharge for that as well, so... Hope you guys can also hear these slightly horrifying noises from this crashed freighter. Uh, here we go. Oop, come on. Robot with a little eye. Looking at this thing. MS Wings of Anomaly. From SV Emperor Sahori. Log damage. Well, yeah. I guess it used to be inside the ship. Uh, partial records available. Similarly, the record of a fleet of colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. With those methods, nothing but misfiring circuits from a long forgotten ruin. Nestled among the debris, I found the pilot's log. Blinking, awaiting input. Request log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the table spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. It comes for the stars. The anomaly comes for the stars. The schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the other message. Sweet. Oh, excellent. Hyperdrive blueprint for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone places here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Lots of mystery. Uh, oh, it's chromatic metal. That's the stuff that I've got. Really glad I didn't sell that now. Really glad I didn't sell that. Uh, I need some microprocessors. Uh, sweet. Oh, it's passing ships making that noise. That horrifying, <laughs> bizarre noise. I thought I'll explore around, see if we can find... Is there any loot around here, or...? Uh, boost, nope. Boost, there we go. If I can get up to the... The bridge seems quite high. It reminds me a bit of one of the uh, Imperial Star Destroyers. Like the big high high bridge. Uh, this seems pretty tough to climb. I'm surprised. Seems to be <laughs> just smashing it. No, no problem. Very athletic spaceman. Uh, here we go. Oh, there's the engines. Uh, oh, we're getting up to the bridge. Oh, little entrance. Anything in here? Well, I can't actually get in there, <laughs> but. Can't see anything in there either. Oh, oh, there we go. I've got a slight touch of vertigo doing this. Do not want to fall to my doom. Let's see if we can get up this way. I think I might be uh, chasing a lost cause with this one. 
Wait for that to recharge. <laughs> it's one of those giant moth things. Uh, oh, sweet. And uh, we're up. And there's another gear. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just see if we can. Nope, no front entrance either. Wow. Cool, right here. That's something in that's something in there, isn't it? Let's have a little look. I think I can I jump? I'm sure I can jump. Oh sweet, it worked. Oh, I'm in. Oh, I'm covered from radiation as well. Nice. Are these any any s treats? Any space treats in here? No, this is definitely a thing, though. Right, come on. Let's see. Oh, cargo pod. Sweet. Uh, an advanced control unit designed to allow device flesh interaction. Damage prevented from functioning correctly. Interfacing while its state is not advised, but I can repair it. But did, did it damage my sh suit? Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to get back to the ship. Uh, exosuit. Repair. Oh my god. Uh, this is not good. Right. Where's my ship? <laughs> What happened? But it's not good. Oh, I earned a heck of a lot of credits, though. Oh, my system seems to be fine now. I don't know what. All right, I'm going to find some oxygen first, I think, and then we'll go back to see if we can find out what's going on inside that. Horrible space, <laughs> space place. Yeah, that was a uh, slightly concerning turn of events there. <laughs> Suddenly being told that my systems aren't working and I'm going to perish. Oop, oop. Let me see if we can collect this. Let's see, let us. I don't want to build the hypers. I don't want to build the hypersphere. I want to but, uh, get myself some oxygen, some life support. Have some priorities, game. Um, the hundred thousand credits is very much appreciated. I feel like there might have been some more stuff in there to explore. I'm here to explore. I am robust, apparently. Oh, steel? Can I... What did... Does get me anything? I don't understand what, what I'm looking at. Oh, hello. Damaged. Okay, let's not do. Let's not mess around with that. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, let's go back into here. Ah, there was a, ah, a door in. Oh, that's much easier. So that must have been it. it. Must have been the credits that I got from interacting with this thing. I don't know what happened with my suit and why I had to <laughs> to flee for my life. 
Um, but I'm going to take that as a win, and I'm going to try and get back to my ship in one piece now. Uh, I'll take my many credits and see if I can build or buy whatever it is it needs me to make. Is it this? There we go. Oh, too high. Oh, a bit of a landing, bad landing there. There we go. This is some horrible, deadly alien plants. Let's get out of here. Uh, so, do another one of these. There we go. Ah, there's my ship. Whew. So, whilst I'm making my jog back to the ship, I was going to say, the other game that I'm looking at playing, I think I'm going to start playing on Saturdays, uh, is Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, which is one of my all-time favourite games, one of my chill-out games. Mostly for these games, I just want to be playing games that I like chilling out with, chatting to people, taking it easy, uh, and ooh, digging for underground technology. Is it? Nope, it's that one. Aha! I got two two datas. Two whole datas. Oh, uranium. Oh, this is for Starship fuel. That's useful. Devastating the biosphere to fuel my ship and then never return to the planet again. There we go. Right. Let's see what we've learned from our little expedition. Uh, you want us to make a hyperdrive. And I need some more microprocessors. So. Let's see how we make microprocessors. Is that something we know how to make? No. I have one. So I guess I need to buy some more. Uh, so let's go up to space and see if we can find some. Or maybe we'll go find one of those little trade posts that we saw. Um, see you there, little ship. Oh, that's, that's very pretty. I'll have to go there sometime soon. Uh, first, I want to find some kind of... Can I do a scan? Nope, that's not scanning. Ah, little trade spot. Here we go. Is this... Is this a trade spot? Certainly something. This this crashed module here makes me think that maybe it's not what I think it is, but we can check it out. Damaged machinery. Oh, goop. I forgot. I've got quite a bit of goop. Apparently it has some monetary value. Uh, so we will pop it into the suit. Uh, we'll head in here. Buildings are for hazards. Search for materials and data. Uh, there is nothing in here. Let's try the other one. Oh, hello. Universal Language Database. Sweet. Uh, what will we learn the word for today? Uh, let's learn a word. Today's word is... Interloper. <laughs> so I suppose that's a useful word to uh, to know where I'm not wanted. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, and let's extract nanites. Oh, I've actually got nanites. Oh, cool. Okay. Like, not entirely sure what they're used for yet, but I've got them. <laughs> that ship just crashed. Oop, 
Oh yeah, you can do all the different modern tools you can do. Uh, I'm just gonna stick to mining for now, I think. There we go. Get some of these, please. Ooh, an observatory. Nice. Where does the Vakeen live? And keep their plants. I don't have some more nanites, thank you very much. Very generous. Let's see what this thing does. An observatory. A beacon long ago from a distant system awaits response. Three numbers are visible upon an empty box. I think I know what comes next. Okay. So 1702. 7021, 0217, so it's 2170, because it's is moving along by one each time, I think. <laughs> yeah, the language machine is being pretty shady at the moment. Uh, well, so far I've learnt the word for the species in their own name, which I knew because I knew what they were called, and I've also learnt... Um, Interloper. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Oh, sweet. I've unlocked the location. Nice. Big ol' scan. Little pink icon. I wonder what that means. Ooh. In the region of Fire Nation here. Sweet. Uh, I guess that's it for here. Thank you for your planetary help, my friend. Uh, no trading though, so we didn't get to complete our objective for that. But uh, you know, I'm gonna go and get some more of that oxygen because my my health is so low. My life support system. I feel like it's important. There we go. Thank you very much. And uh, let us head back to. Oh, some paradise near ready. Yeah, let's that'll that'll do for that. I'm fine for that. There we go. Righty, let's get in the ship. The Radiant Pillar. This is everyone's starting ship, I believe. Uh, still shouting at me to install this uh, technology. I haven't got the parts yet, game. Chill out. Uh, so I need to find a trade point or go and see what that little scan thing is over there. What do we reckon? Should we go and explore the ancient ruin? There might be trade people near ancient ruins. Let's let's check it out. Ah, it's only 30 seconds away. Uh, I guess it's on this blue planet. A freezing planet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this where... It's the planet I came from. I could have taken the loop. Oh, never mind. Let's mine some... Asteroids in the meantime, shall we? Get some platinum. Um, yeah, we may as well, since we're already on our way. Let's check it out. See what these ancient ruins have in store for us. Here we go. Navigate upon. Oh, the ancient ruins. Ooh, very interesting. Like an old church of some kind. Let's check it out. Here we 
do. I should probably make it some kind of priority to get some kind of weapon uh, other than the mining beam. It occurs to me. Uh, things like that plants. The various giant bug creatures we've seen. Various... Orbs. Memory stones. Very interesting. Oh, there's a stair that needs a fire. Uh, let's go from the entr entrance in, I guess. Let's see what this one is. Oh. I know that word! <laughs> That's the word for keen. <laughs> yig, yig, yig. Don't know that word yet. Somewhere there's producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. Two large aliens locked in combat. Eventually one triumphs, leaving their victim to bleed to death. The last of their strengths, the vanquished alien gestures towards me. I will accept your knowledge. The name Vakeen floats in my vision. It's echoed of a strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. Oh, a new language. A new word, sorry. You learned the Vakeen word for gra? Gra's not a... Gra's not a word! <laughs> <laughs> You've learned the Vakeen for plush. Uh, oh, the. Okay, that's a useful word. That's a really useful word. Uh, the. I've learned five words. Oh, He's just learning. Uh, and we will see what this thing does. An imprint of an ancient civilization was once... Oh. <laughs> gra, yeah. You know, Gra. Not just, not English for Gra either, the alien language for Gra. Uh, an imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The story of the Keen somehow spills out in the language of my own people. Hmm. The noble travelers will be spared. This journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. And confident. Uh, the will of Herc commands it. The Vakeen shall honour the judgement and the belief of the ancients. Seek help with language, seek knowledge of the past. Hmm, I've already learnt five words today. But I might not know what they're talking about. Um, Herc will command it. The Vakeen shall honour the judgement and the belief of the ancients. Let's go for knowledge of the past it's talking about ancients. Oh! It's it's one of my guys. I wonder if I can name them. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, I can super can name them. Oh, here we go. What are you getting called, little little tiny T Rex heads? Uh, how about? Let's have a look. I am up for any suggestions for the tiny T Rex. Uh, but I'm, I'm quite on board with the Goldblumian uh, in honour of the man Goldblum. Uh, what's the movie's a Goldblumian? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and his, uh, his resting on a T-Rex. Well, it actually wasn't him, but that's what the gifts are all about. Uh, the memes are all about. Uh, it's a rare creature. Oh, I mean. Can't be that rare. We have them on Earth. Well, we had them on Earth, just with regularly proportioned sized heads. Uh, except, there we go. Nice. Uh, if anybody in chat sees a creature that they like and they want to name, uh, apparently I can name it after them. So, uh, just let me know. <laughs> uh, there are some win wonderful creatures on this world. Uh, oh, it's these guys again. Little sentinels. Not yet had a confrontation, but I still... I feel like a confrontation's coming. Oh, that did not go well. Uh, I want to see if I can get up to that second floor. Oh, maybe we can just do this. Oh, that's much easier, isn't it? There we go. Anything here? Have we got another one? Anything up here? Nope, nothing at all. No secrets, never mind. I've been playing 
too many Zelda games to think that there's stuff down there. So, I've, so there's an ancient secret to that way. How far away is that? Uh, arrive in... Hold to tag. There we go. Tag it. If I move like this, how long will it take me to arrive? 18 minutes. Yeah, I'm not running for 18 minutes. Um, if I could ride my buddy here, I would do. <laughs> my gold bloomian. Uh, where did I park my ship? There we go. Let's see if we can get over there. There we go. Righty. Where is the data? This way. Oh, it's another ancient ruin. Oh, that's interesting. You'll notice that none of these things are getting me anywhere near trading. <laughs> trading things. Uh, to get my hyperdrive in the, on the go. Uh, I was saying that the last session I managed to get through the tutorial. I think getting the hyperdrive might actually be the end of the tutorial. Oh wow, is that a meteorite just crashed? Around here somewhere? Well, check it out. That planet just looks amazing. Looks like uh, some sort of prophecy is aligning just in time. Ah, oh, these you again. Little sentinels, leave me alone. I have nothing for you. There we go. More buildings. Hmm. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Here we, here we are. It just maybe I'll ask for the language next time. <laughs> it doesn't need to be much going on here. Uh, let's see what's in this little house. Do I have to go up and around. Nope, nothing. Oh, and life support's failing. Uh, life support, life support, life support, there we go. And hazard protection. Do we not need hazard protection right now? Oh, interesting. Um. It's saying there's something nearby. The radar's telling me there's something really close, but I can't see anything. Is it the thing up there, maybe? A rather distracting looking orb. Oh, hello. A gravitino ball? Oh, he doesn't like me taking gravitino balls. Oh, doesn't like it at all. Doesn't like it at all. Let's go. Ah, I knew these things didn't like me. Where's my spaceship? Oh, there's weird alien wolf things. Oh, this is this has gone badly. <laughs> I really hope my ship's in this direction. Oh. oh, I'm so far away from my ship. Oh my god, oh dear lord. <laughs> I really very much hope that my spaceship has petrol. There it is. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I've lost them, I've lost them. I really hope the hiding in my ship loses them. Let's make sure we can. Oh, of course, of course, there's no. Ah, oh, thank the Lord, I've got uranium. Let's see what happens if they find me in here. Can they spot me in here? I feel like you should be able to see me. I mean, I'm right here, buddy. Can you not? You better be looking at me. Oh! Very aggressive looking around. 
Oh, nope. He's still shooting at me. Let's get out of here. Get away from here a little bit. So I think now would be a really good time to look at um, if I can build a gun <laughs> for my multi tool. Here we go. Uh, bolt caster, here we go. I need carbon nanotubes. Right. Can I make some carbon nanotubes? Yes, I can. Uh, I'm going to need a couple more of these. How do I make more? Uh, oh, I can't make more, that's why. I need more carbon. Okay, okay. Um, what was that thing that I got anyway? That's, a, that's, that's an important question, isn't it? Gravitino ball. Oh, worth 40,000 units. That's pretty decent. Uh, a micro rift created as they form. The extraction of your problem to localize reality weakening. Sentinel force will respond to stabilization anomaly. Can be sold to the Galactic Trade Mart. Ah, cool. Uh, so, for now, let us see if we can find somewhere we can trade. Doesn't appear to be anything anywhere. I am tempted to go to that planet. It just looks awesome. Um, are these, oh no, it's just rocks. Uh, let's, let's head on to the atmosphere, see if we can get a better idea. There we go. We've got a couple of couple of things highlighted on the radar. Space station. This is a new space station, by the looks of it. Ah, I think I found this space station earlier on, and it had, um, it removed it whilst I was on my way to it, because I hadn't done the tutorial one yet, uh, which kind of makes sense. Well, it didn't make much sense, but, uh, three minutes away, that is quite far away. Let's see if we can... Three seconds, here we go. Oh, it's the space station. Ah, okay. That's fair enough. Oops. Didn't mean to launch a volley at you there, very sorry. Big space lemon. It's kind of a good thing that they take over flight control for me. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Saganian hub. It's nice. Turn around. There we go. I didn't go this way this time. Let's see what's there anything over this way. Ah, more peeps. Oh, hello. It's a scan of my ship. Starship outfitting. Oh, this is cool. This is all again brand new. <laughs> Drones boys target the Starship waiting pillar. Available operations upgrade class storage or melt ship into scrap. <laughs> Let's let's not do that. Um, where to find upgrades? Use this outfit to increase the size of your starship's inventory, or improve its base stats by upgrading its class. I know it's a class C. I saw that somewhere before. Upgrade specific functions such as weapons or engines can be purchased from the technology merchants. Useful. Drones deployed to target your for available upgrade. Uh, upgrade starship. Uh, for free with storage augmentation units. Uh, oh, lots and lots of nanites or money that I have neither of. Uh, so thank you, thank you for offering me <laughs> these sales. Uh, what is this situation? Ah, uh, I don't appearance modifier. That's new. Ah, uh, this is pretty cool. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I can be a Gek, I can be a Vrax. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, do I want to be a glowing orb guy? Is that too much? 
Um. <laughs> I mean, this guy's this guy's pretty amazing. Where's he going? Oh, he just looks panicked. I don't know if I can deal with that. Uh, let's try this guy. See what else we've got. That guy's very uh, Tie Fighter pilot there. Um. <laughs> oh, I I'm liking budget to uh, Stormtrooper. Budget Stormtrooper is very good. Um. Let's go for big, chunky Stormtrooper. Uh, I can change the colours. No, you know what I kind of like? I quite like big budget Stormtrooper. What else have we got? Yeah. <laughs> Man, so much... So much stuff on this. can't believe how much they've added. Uh, let's go back for number, number two, shall we? Keep it to the... Banner? Do you have a banner? <laughs> Look at that, you have a banner. Uh, conscript. Oh, all these things I've got to have to unlock, I guess. Oh, that's very cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, let's, let's save our changes to the chunky stormtrooper. Look at him go. Uh, exosuit upgrades. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. Very friendly tradesman. Uh, 5,000 units upgrade. Purchase an inventory slot for 5,000 units. How many units have I got? Uh, I've got 100,000 units. I'm going to definitely buy. Ah, this guy's very, very happy with his sale. Can I chat to him? What else have you got for sale? There are several prominent scars. Not had a very good sales experience. Uh, hold themselves with the ferocity of a warrior. <laughs> This amount of place in this mercantile role. <laughs> you will buy from me today. Oh, gra, gra. <laughs> I don't know what it means still, but you, I just did it. Uh, and then I'm an interloper. This guy is not very friendly with me. Uh, offers an installable exosuit upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. Hmm. Installable exit purchase upgrade modules. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So, a movement module. Um, movement system. Freeze expert on the process. Potential improvements include jetpack tank capacity, jetpack fuel efficiency, or speed boost duration. The module is flexible and exact upgrade statistics are unknown until the installation is complete. Okay. How many nights have I got? 105, so I can't afford to do this too much. Uh, Increases the exosuit shield strength. Uh, I mean, the radiation stuff sounds quite useful. Um, movement's pretty good. Life support module would be nice. Um, capacity, speed boost, or jetpack fuel efficiency. I think all three of those are probably worth uh, early days. Me, I'm doing a lot of running about, so I'm going to try. Can I sell stuff to you? Oh, I'm going to sell the thing I just bought for much less money, so... I mean, you're you may be a warrior, but you're uh, you're also a shrewd salesman. Uh, exosuits, uh, technology. Oh, I can install a bigger life support tank if I get more oxygen. That's important. Uh, where's the thing that I just just got given? <laughs> Loot junk in there. Has it automatically happened? Do I need to use this thing to do it? Uh, upgrading modules are ready made and require no crafting. Ah, the nanites. Oh, sweet. So I wonder what it, <laughs> wonder what it increased. Guess I'll never know. Uh, hello. What I'm looking to buy is motherboards. Exo Exocraft upgrades. Gra? Interloper? So maybe some sort of aggressive welcome and then calling me an interloper. <laughs> so it's not good. A cannon module, engine manual. Uh, let's 
still have this thing, don't I? I had to install it there. Um, all these vent man, so many vendors. This is crazy. Starship research. I, yeah, I can't afford a starship. Ooh, you have sold me with your gun sales, my friend. <laughs> the gun you're looking to sell to me compare with the current multi-tool I would like to compare it um, it's got a better scanner range uh, it's got the same potential damage it cost 80,000 most of my funds uh, it comes with a bolt caster already installed though which I suppose is one thing uh, the trading price Fifty-six thousand. So that's a net net difference of thirteen thousand. Uh, it does look pretty funky. Uh, it's got a manipulate. It doesn't have a manipulator. I have to install that again. I'm just going to stick with what I've got for now. Um, but I like to know that I've got these options because it's a pretty funky looking thing there. Um, Oh, Interloper is my casual name they're calling me now. <laughs> hey, Interloper, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I don't have any of the nanites for this. Nanites appears to be a key currency for this side of the spaceship. Uh, let's see if we can find someone who will do a deal with me. Oh, you look like you deal with uh, Scrap Dealer. Maybe I should have sold my scrap to you. Strange faced friend. Uh, the Vakeen size. Oh, he's a Vakeen. Okay. Sizes me up as I approach. Appear to pass muster. Uh, for they do not dismiss me from their presence. Uh, what are you selling? Pathetic freighters go missing. Weak scavengers pick through the wreckage like feasting birds. Grah, honorable Vakeen warrior, would never indulge in salvage. This is the first person who's bothered to speak to me in my own language. Uh, but if interpreter, is, its interloper is interested, Vakeen may have information. The Vakeen await my decision. Uh, I don't have the five million units you want for information. Um, <laughs> you sell contraband as well. Oh, they've, done, they've added so much to this world. It's so fun. Um... Okie dokie, so let's see what else is on there. Um, so this is the sales side of the show, I guess. Who's this guy? Hey Betty, I like your Firefly style ship. Can I buy it from you? Look at the pilot. Oh, you're the pilot. Oh, you're a corporal. So, welcome, kind welcome, interloper, I believe is what that means. Uh, the warrior box in season prepares to open their cargo hold for inspection. They open to trade negotiate a potential sale of their starship. How much do you want for the starship, my friend? Um, it's much bigger. It's got some sort of launch system recharger. That sounds good. Um, got already got a hype drive built in. Kind of price you're talking about here, buddy. Uh, five and a half million. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. no, can't quite afford that with my current current funds. I do actually want to see what you got for sale, though, Corporal. Yes, it's me again, the interloper. Uh, buy items from the life form. What have you got? Metal plating? Oh, you got microprocessors. Uh, 19,000. Oh, that is steep. Um, I do need them, though. That's like most of my money. Um, I might go and see how much they are upstairs. <laughs> if, they're, if they're cheaper upstairs. Thank you, though. I do appreciate the, uh, the sales. Uh, where was that trader guy? Here he is, a little tiny trader guy with his model spaceship. Are you still scared of me?
Oh, he's still scared of me, even though he's got a little fish for sale. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Um, you seem to be selling some sort of futuristic orbs. A cartographer. Uh, I cannot afford a map yet, I don't think. Let's have a look. Ask for help. They point on the map screen and then towards a depiction of the waypoint towers found at most planetary sites. They seem to be requesting I gather data from these towers. Oh. I'll come and tell you some data when I get it. Um, an envoy. Gra, welcome. <laughs> How are you doing, interloper? Uh, I've seen the aliens insignia before. They're the Explorers Guild. Ooh. They do not seem interested in the data they have to offer. Perhaps the mission listings agent on the station might have a way to prove my worth. Are you the... No, you're a scout. Mission listings agent. There we go. Hello, interloper. Oh, no. He dismissed me. No. No work for me today. Collect a trade terminal, here we go. Let's see if we can buy stuff on the open market. Uh, I want to buy... Um, motherboards, here we go. Uh, same price. Uh, right, how many did I need for this thing? Uh, what did I need to build a... Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive requires four microprocessors. Okie dokie. I definitely can't craft them. I just have lots of projectile stuff. Okay. Um, Okie dokie. Let's work out. I'm just going to go buy them, I guess. Oh, hello, buddy. Mathematician. Corvacs, yep, yeah, I know Corvacs. Numerous glyphs, they appear to be planning some kind of expedition. Let's practice my language skills. Get okay, my throat, warming up my vocal cords. Several Corvacs words come out to mind. Corvacs. He's enthused by having some interesting subject. They teach me another word. Oh, nice. Traveller. Oh, that's a good word. Sweet. Uh, I'm learning more and more words by the day. Um, so, if I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy from that guy downstairs because he seemed pretty he seemed pretty on the money. Uh, what he was offering? Oh, did he fly away? Oh, he left. Never mind. Well, I'll buy it from the, the Galactic Trade Unit then. Um, have you got anything to, to sell me? No, you're the same guy. I keep freaking out. Sorry. And can I sell something to make up some money for the amount that I'm about to spend on this thing? Oh, I can sell the cappuccino ball. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do that. Uh, it's in less than regular demand, but... Oh, the salvage data sells for a lot as well. It's quite cool. Uh, yeah, let's sell the gravitino. Grav... Grav... Gravitino ball. There we go. Uh, and then I will buy at an exorbitant rate. Um, so these microprocessors. Four microprocessors. Thank you very much. Uh, I also need some oxygen for my. How much do these cost? Ah, oh, it's way too much money, it's not worth that. Uh, never mind. So I should be able to build my hyperdrive now. That guy's got like an X. Oh, it's like a B-Wing. Ooh. Hey, buddy. You know what? I just spent all my money. I can't, I can't afford that. Uh, let's see if I can <laughs> improve this ship first. Uh, with a hyperdrive. Here we go. 
we go. Take the boxes. Hyperdrive installed. I need a warp cell or a warp hypercore. Okie dokie. Uh, I've got neither of those. Uh, oh, in order to make a warp cell, I need antimatter and antimatter housing. Uh, Okie dokie. I'm hoping the game will tell me how to do these things. It's a surprisingly deep and complex game. I am surprised how much there is actually to do, how much there is going on. I remember when I played it, the original vanilla version, it was literally just... Oh, here we go. What did I just report? Hyperdrive successfully installed. <laughs> yes, hyperdrive fuel is empty. Perhaps I'll find that in the midst of the stars. But without warp cells, I will be going no. To find a source of antimatter, tune the scanner to antimatter. Useful. So any aboard this ship? Uh, so we need to go do a planetary scan. Um, let's go do that, yeah. Let's, let's crack on. We'll see if we can... That's the home planet. Let's just scooch around here, see what else we've got. Where? What? What is this target you're leading me to? Is this, is it this place? Scan. Antimatter trace detected anywhere else? Can I try a different planet? What this one? Nope. And how about the one with the, the... That's not the one with the rings. Where did the ring planet go? Ah, there you are. Ah, very, very cool. Nope, none there. It looks like we're heading this way. We'll see if we can find some antimatter. Yeah, the, the original version, um, when I played it, uh, the things you could upgrade were your ship and you could upgrade your suit. And I remember buying a better ship a couple of times and upgrading it till it was, could hold the most stuff that I could possibly carry. And then upgraded my suit that I could run the furthest and I could fly the furthest that you could do on the suit at the time. And then I think it was almost literally the moment that I had completed upgrading the suit that I uh, hugely lost interest in the game. I was like, well, I, I'm done on the game now. I've got nothing else I want to do here. Is this a water planet, maybe? Oh, this is very cool. Not been to a water planet before. Uh, I want to be to go there. Can't really land there. I'm going to have to land here. At this place. I wonder if each of these next steps, <laughs> little tricky stormtrooper, if each of these next steps is from a separate DLC release. What are you? Can I analyze what you are? Oh dear lord, oh my god. I'm gonna need to run away. Why didn't I? Why didn't I build that? Good. Oh no. Yeah, we need to leave. This isn't. Take off. Take off. There we go. Now my ship has got guns. <laughs> my ship's got guns. I think. If I can fly straight, which I clearly can't. Uh, so many times 
this session that I've just been set upon by things that I was not expecting. These guys are around here somewhere. If I blast them with my spaceship. No? Okay. Oh dear lord. Right, so let's have a look at the guy. Let's just take it. Ah, more, more sky dragons. Hey guys. Uh, right, let's look at my gun. Let's see if we can make this work. So I need um, chromatic metal, which I'm running low on, and carbon nanotunes, which I need oxygen for. Uh, so, is there anywhere on this water planet I can find those things? Doesn't appear to be an awful lot of resources on this planet so far. At least not on the surface. I also don't want to land in... That's definitely oxygen, so... Oh! I saw that land. I saw it land. It landed right here. Let's see if it's an actual thing that landed. Lots of resources here as well. Let us hope and pray. Is that where the things crashed? Nope, that's just a big old plant. Ogoparite. There's something over there. Warm subsiding. Oh, that is not a term that I like the sound of. Let's get some oxygen for my little chunky monkey. Where is the oxygen gun? Did you lie to me? Did the oxygen go away? Milestone. Attacked several times. Quite the... Oh, great. So, the oxygen is attacking me as well. It's perfect. I'm just going to clear this whole section out. I'll get myself... Oh, it's the whip thing, isn't it? Here we go, yeah. Nope, there's another one. Hidden in that rock somehow. Yeah, you. Come on. Off you go. There's the oxygen. Uh, what is this stuff? This is copper deposit. I don't know if that's any use to me. No crashed meteorite though, which is a shame. I'm kind of hoping that would be here. Let's get back to the ship then, shall we? There we go. Right, so. Multi tool. Oh, first thing I need is more carbon nanotubes. Uh, craft more. You need 39 more carbon. Okay. Let's get some carbon. Carbon resources here. At least there are none of the sentinels on this island. Shouldn't have said that out loud, should I? Can we immediately come and grab you now? Righty, so craft one of these. Then I need another 17 to craft another one. Sort this out. Uh, it needs 
some chromatic metal. Where does that come from? Oh, it's any of these metals. Processed metal alloy. Processed metal alloy. Created in a refiner. Okie dokie. So, for that we'd need to go home. Or, unless I can build one here. Can I, can I build a refiner? Oh, I can do. Uh, but I require metal plating and oxygen. Uh, might be easy to just go home. Uh, where is home base? Knows me, it wants me to go here to the island of doom where I have no weapons. Can I take the ship underwater? No. Thankfully, it stops me automatically, which is quite nice. Um, research the marked location. Okay. Maybe if I don't randomly mine things unnecessarily, I won't get swarm attacked this time. Can I see where the door is? If I can land close to the door as well, <laughs> I might be able to get in. There we go. Nothing swarming around me right now. Let's see if we've got any supplies around here that I am short on. Uh, more junk. Uh, put it in the starship, I guess. How about you? You've got more junk? Yeah. A Gek relic? Hmm. No, this one? Yes. Life support? Put the oxygen in there. Okay. Abandoned building with grossness everywhere. Let's, let's rummage through some of these things first, shall we? More projectile ammunition. I mean, I feel like you're giving me all the clues. Nothing in there. Uh, forgotten terminal. Let's give it a go. I mean, look at the mouth thing around that. Uh, let's take the goop away. See if it repairs it in some way. Did that do it? Terminal online. Oh, it did do it. Selecting key. Decrypting. The Eye of the Anomaly. Success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. <laughs> yeah, it does appear to be something along those lines. <laughs> Ghost of Sunny. Uh, nevertheless, it appears to be to function. Uh, as such the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. Make a note to avoid getting closer. Uh, the device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. What is the message? You will find us when the time is right. Uh, also, beware ground breaching bugs. Oh, all the 16s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 16s. Chromatic metal and condensed carbon. The vast energy potential of antimatter makes it highly valuable. Oh, okay, so that's not, doesn't seem too hard a thing to make. Um, it's very cautiously. That thing is going to try and get me into that. I've seen your kind before. Little whippies. Some. Solidified plot. Oh, sp research specimen. Outstanding with the Vikine increased. Ah, interesting. 
Can I... Is that this, this tall place? Ah, I need an Atlas Pass. That's something that I don't have anything... Any idea what that is so far, so... Explore that sometime in the future. Diddy. Right, so I know not to destroy these. These are the things that summon the horde of monsters. Um, don't know what this thing is. Doesn't seem to do anything. Can I fix this maybe? Is that something I can do? No. Can I go in the water is the next question. I want a nice steady edge that I can get through. Oh! Yeah, that I can do, but uh, it's not great on this planet apparently. May need some sort of submersible. Uh, oh, there is one of these little stone things there. Do you do anything little stone thing? No. Uh, so there's nothing to mine. And uh, nothing... What do you do, ferrite? Yeah, I don't need ferrite. Uh, let's get out of here. This is a very cool planet, uh, but it's not very hospitable, so <laughs> let us leave. And that was the last of my thrusters, so I can't do that very easily again. Um, let's get out of this. We get into the atmosphere. Let's see if we can work out where home base is. Uh, there it is. Let's get to Echo Base. There we go. 18 seconds to go. So the hyperdrive fuel, uh, from what I recall, lets you jump from system to system, so you're not just hanging around, uh, jumping from planet to planet within system you're then going from each entire network of planets to the next network of planets. Let's head to our little little wooden paradise here on... Uh, I should probably rename this planet as well. I mean, I definitely saw it land right there. If it's going to do anything, ever. Nope, doesn't do anything. That's a shame. Uh, let's slowly come in for a nice landing. There we go, back at base. Let's get some carbon. Oh, hello. Oh, you're carbon. I need your oxygen. I will take it either way. Ah, oh, sentinels. Oh, I forgot you were here. Let's go. Let's go to the hut. Can I unlock some new research potential? Keep zooming in on the butt. Indicate side research path. Buildable technology. Uh, save beacon. Once activated, beacons provide a permanent navigational waypoint, facilitating repeat visits to specific locations. Is that different to a base, I wonder? A uh, signal booster. Versatile scanner detects nearby buildings can decrypt navigational data. Pinpoint specific locations. Not sure what I'd use that for. Health station sounds useful. Hazard protection units, solar panels. Uh, wooden door frame. Wooden doorway. 
Oh, I can unlock metal door. Metal though. Which is a bit easier to get on this planet, actually. So I might unlock some metal. A silicate powder, and nowhere idea where I've got that from in, at all, so. Uh, battery. Highly efficient storage units. Power grill board. Automatically draw down spare capacity to charge its cells. When the grid attempts to draw more power than it's currently supplied with, the battery door. Oh, that is quite useful, I suppose. And the solar panel, uh, which will just turn it on in the daytime, which is very, very useful. Um, but it's a lot of more solar because I might save up for that. I might spend one of them on metal walls, though. Oh no, it's concrete. Oh, you fool. You fool. <laughs> Let's get the metal wall as well. There we go. Uh, thin metal wall, floor panel, door frame. I'm just going to do a little bit of an expansion for now and then we'll see. Uh, see if I can remember how you build walls. This is not how you do it. Nope, cannot recall the top of my head how you do it. Uh, I've already got a refiner. Don't need that. Oh, is it this? Nope, summon vehicles. Oh, why don't I have these things? Look at all these. <laughs> these look really good. Freighter, other starship. Ugh. I feel so, so basic and poor. Um... I want to build some more walls. Actually, you know what? Let's just get some carbon. Can do it quickly before the little robots come. Uh, right, see, so let's refine some carbon in the condenser. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what on earth are you? Look at this little guy. Little jack in the box. Oh, it's pretty adorable. If anybody in chat has any ideas for a name for this little guy, let me know, because he's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that reminds me though, I think I'm going to rename the planet to uh, let's call it Neptune. It's a nice cold planet. It's a pretty sleepy planet. Home of the naps. <laughs> we'll call it Neptune. Um, So what am I trying to build? I'm trying to build warp core stuff, wasn't it? That was it. So antimatter needs condensed carbon. I was using the condenser to build the carbon. Here we go. Portable refiner. We will take out the pure ferrite. And we will put in carbon. And what we should get out is condensed carbon. Begin. Ooh, nice and quick. Boosh, there we go. And I will take that with me, thank you very much. Now I can craft antimatter. <laughs> now I can craft antimatter. Just like that. Just popping some antimatter out. There we go. Uh, assemble antimatter housing, okay. Antimatter housing. I've got the stuff for that. Excellent stuff. Nice and easy. And then, what's the last thing you want from me? Craft a warp cell. Okay. Ah, uh, so you make the warp cell out of those two things. Sweet. And now I can fuel the hyperdrive. I feel like there's an awful lot of uh, I would call it maybe faux science in this. I don't really play things like Minecraft um, or games of that style much. So it's... Um... Boop. There we go. I'm also going to need to recharge this. 
uh, with some uranium. There we go. Uh, hyperdrive refuel, launch to space, and test the interstellar systems. Give it a go. Let's see what is out in the stars. The galaxy map is a wealth of information about nearby planetary systems. Browse nearby systems with available routes. In space, access the galaxy map from the quick menu. Move along specific paths or browse and choose your own route. Warping requires warp fuel. Some systems require hyperdrive upgrades to access. Interesting. So, oh, that was gold. Gold nugget, silver. It seems oddly easy to acquire very precious metals just by chilling in space, blasting a few. Asteroids and right now we're chilling in space for a moment. Um, I needed the refinery for something else, and I can't remember what it was. Was it for my gun? Chromatic metal. Yes. Right. Let's head back to the head back and land uh, because I do want to try <laughs> and get a gun on there before it's too late. Uh, where's my base gun? Based on the radar, is saying this way. Is it literally just down here? Ooh. How far away is it? Forty-three seconds. Ugh. That's your own fault, navigation system. Not giving me a clear indication of where I'm supposed to be going right now. Uh, let's see some low flybys. Lower atmosphere. This is where piloting becomes problematic real quick. There we go. Much better. So, yeah, I think I feel once I've got. Uh, I, the, the blaster built into the um, built into the multi-tool. I will feel a bit more secure in against the sentinels, against hordes of alien monsters coming to get me. Uh, I think this is a worthwhile diversion at the moment. Uh, even though that was potentially, that uh, wasn't potentially, it definitely was a bit of a waste of fuel there. Uh, so let's. Right, so where is my refinery? Refinery, where are you? Oh, I landed on top of it. There we go. So I want to put in. Um, that's precious metal. I want to put in regular metal, I guess. Uh, copper, there we go. And I get. Quite metal out, yeah, excellent. And I will take some of that. And then we'll see if that's enough to get us our gun. Nope, I need another 41. Okie dokie. So, what else can we pop in here? Uh, silicates. Does it tell me what the input is? Uh, here we go. Uh, so, indium, emeril, Cadmium, copper, and the stellar metals. Okay, so copper might be the only one that I've got. Uh, what platinum get me? I wonder. Or gold nugget. So let's go find some copper. Was the copper on this planet? I can't remember. Let's see if we can get a scan going. 
my little waddling spaceman. Um, ah, this is usually indicates dioxide deposit. There we go. That is salvage container. I don't use this anywhere near. This is really useful. A buried cache. That's quite close. Cargo drop. A humming sack. I'm not entirely sure I want to go find that. Salt. Well, that's apparently quite valuable. Berry technology module. A knowledge stone. A cargo drop. Copper. Ah, there we go. Let us go for a boost. <laughs> to me now, he looks a lot like um, space <laughs> intergalactic version of Porco Rosso. Uh, we've got going here. Uh, okay, so I think this is where I've previously mined. By the, by the looks of it, previously devastated the environment with this thing. Um, let's hope that I can get just a bit extra that I need. Oh, it's not much at all that I'm getting. Oh, Sentinel's here. On my case, as always. Let's see if we can see any other copper, salt, berry technology, dioxide. Don't know what dioxide is. More dioxide. Copy deposit 23. Is it this? Is this the thing you're talking about? Surely that's all of it gone. I can't be any more down here. Yes, it recognizes that that's where it is, but it does not cut any more. Let's hope that we find some in this direction. I think he's projecting some kind of shield whenever he says that. Aha, what's this? Copper, excellent. It's exactly what we needed. Uh, the gun needs some recharge though. What do I do? Oh, ferrodust. Nice. Now the trick is to try and get as much as we can before, what was that? I thought I saw someone walking there. Uh, I'm just going to get in here as quick as I can, get as much of this stuff as possible. This does not feel like a methodic way of doing this. I think that will do me. Back to the ship. Back to the pool. Let's recharge this. With some carbon. Nope, can't do that. Nope, can't do that. Ah, oh, well, right. Let's head back to base. When pigs can fly. There we go. Ah, there's space snacks. I mean, to be fair, they're, they're stopping me from destroying the environment, so. I am. Um, 
can you be pulpy roots? Do not know what that's for. Uh, hey, it's one of these guys. Little turtle butterfly hammerhead monsters. <laughs> Back to base. Back to the ship. And we've got the refiner. Here we go. So, putting our input in here is copper. Do not need that many. Um, we need 41, I think, didn't we? So, I'm just going to start towards the start. And then I'm going to stop when we get to 41. Or is it 21? I can't remember. We'll do 41. I've got plenty now. There we go. And I will take some of this. Thank you very much. And I will take some of this back. Thank you very much. There we go. Now, multi-tool. Here we go. Finally, enough of each. Ballcaster installed. At long last. Boltcaster. Sweet. So it seems to have some sort of semi-automatic property that if I hold the trigger, it stops. It fires in little bursts. It still mines though, which is quite nice. I didn't realise that. Um, classic reload. Excellent stuff. Uh, cool, so, let us get back in our ship. We've got a hyperdrive. We've got our basic, basic gun. Uh, and we've got some bits and bobs. We've got our pulpy roots, always important. Let us take to the stars and try out this brand new, oh, wrong one, hyperdrive. See where it takes us. Now, did it tell us how to use hyperdrive? <laughs> Galaxy map. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, here's a route. This is the route that it's suggesting. Out of my jump range. Is it getting closer to the planet's core? Oh, there's so, so many planets. Uh, so this system is what it suggests. What else is there? That's the only one I can go to at the moment, it looks like. Oh, enter free look, B, there we go. Oh yes, so every one of these is a system of planets. That is crazy. Uh, saying water, I don't know what that means. It means that it's a water planet or it just said it has water on it. What does it say about my planet? Water. And what is this? Three, three, sword, three combat species maybe. Um, let's go. I guess let's tr let's try it. Custom waypoint black. Oh, this tells me what's. Oh, okay. So life forms. I know that yellow must mean the the little beak people. Red seems to be something yellow, white, sorry, no idea. Blue. The robot dudes that I'm not a fan of. Uh, my planet is the same I think, which is interesting. Uh, no filter. Let's head to here then, shall we? 
expand. Can I have a oh, Gek? There we go. So there's a race. So there's four planets in the system, maybe five. Uh, let's go there. Let's do it. Oh, nice. It'd be nice when I get a more personalized ship. This is very cool still, though. Oh, I've got some basic guns on my wing. It makes me feel a little bit more reassured. Oh, hello. The Eculit Galaxy? First contact. Starship monitoring reports hyperdrive error. Warp fuel depleted. Searching for fuel source. Useful. Searching. Searching. Obtained. Nice. Warp fuel source in 16, 16, 16, 16. 16. 16. Accept guidance to fuel source? Yeah. Guidance accepted. Plotting route. Interesting. So this is where the route is? Oh no, it's over here. On this planet. This rocky... Let's give it a scan, shall we? The copper, phosphorus, sodium, selenium... A torrid planet. Uh, let's go to the nice big golf ball first, shall we? And see if they can give us any help. Oh, there we go. It's got the same sleek interior as the, the Gek ships we've seen before. Let's see if we can get some welcome. Hello, Entity. Hello, Traveller. As I approach the Corvax, I become aware of a small device in their hands. They are discreet people, unmistakably pointing it towards me, moving its flashing lights and sensors up and down my suit. Uh, let's request some dialect help. Oh, that thing appeared in your hand as a pad. Uh, see, Lifney asks something incomprehensible. I stare blankly. Finally, they present a section of simple glyphs, concepts, and words I might learn. Uh, I'm going to go for the technology symbol. I've learned the word for research. Thank you very much, Entity Lechney. Oh, it's one of these guys. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> it's a little tiny Rambo. Oh, no, he's like a little rapper. Oh, he's a little pug face. Some sort of pug lizard. Thrust a data pad towards me as I approach. A cloud of cloying perfume blowing from their scent gland. Uh, on the screen is an image of the Gek alongside what looks like a complicated ranking system. The calculated value does not look high. Oh, I do have a Gek relic. Uh, it's worth like 20,000 credits. Um, let's be nice. Here we go. Accepts my griff with gratitude. I increased my standing with the Gek. I suppose that's a good thing. Um, I, I could have done with the money, really, but never mind. Uh, can you also give me some dialect help? Can I learn one of your words? Here we go. Aggression, mystery, technology, or Gek. Um, let's try. Let's try mystery. Get word for the, that's useful. Just need other words to go with it now. Now, here's a question that I was interested in. Can this thing take me? Oh, I've learned eight words. I'm a student. I don't actually want to go, I just want to see, can I go? Back to my yes. Not to space.
space stations yet, which is interesting. Wonder how I unlock that. Hello. Cartographer. Envoy. What were you again? Mission mission agent. Ah, here we go. Ruba. Nope, still not liking me doing any of this kind of business. Uh, what's for sale here though? Let's have a look. Decrypted user data. A trade commodity. Super cheap. <laughs> trade commodity. Decrypted user data produced locally. So the local people's uh, <laughs> data. Can I afford the entire batch? I can. Uh, if I could sell it somewhere for 30% more, I'd be on 90,000 credits. It's not bad. Um, unstable plasma. A solar mirror. Bad technologies. Plutonium wiring loom. Microprocessor is still the same price, thankfully. It's terrible when you buy something and then you see it cheaper somewhere else. <laughs> uh, Alice, hello Alice. Uh, I've got to practice my language skills with you. I've learned, a few, I've learned eight words now. Surely I can. Uh, let's go with travelers. Brightens, suddenly so seems much more engaged in conversation. Oh, nice. Their estimation of me improved. Standing with a Corvax increase. Apparently, my little space pig man is doing pretty well for making inroads across the galaxy. There we go. So, that is where we're going to leave it for this evening. I think we've arrived in our new galaxy. We've made some friends with some Gek. Uh, I still feel like I'm in the training area for a little while. So let's switch back over to chatting for now. There we go. Uh, so yes, thank you for joining me. Uh, we are learning more and more about this much more expansive world. I've managed to get my character to look like a little space porker rosa, which I'm quite excited about. Um, and yeah, if you join me next week, we will take some more exploration into the weird world, very weird world of No Man's Sky. Uh, if you like, you can join me on Saturday morning, uh, UK time, probably about I think I'm do 9 a.m. I'm going to start playing Red Dead Redemption, uh, another chilled out stream. I absolutely loved the game, so I'm very excited to get back into that. Uh, and then on Monday, you can catch me on Manabot Studios channel playing um, with a game called All That Glit Glitters Explodes with uh, Kyron Rusmore uh, and a few other players that um, were playing Starfinder, uh, Fly Free or Die, that's it, uh, an AP, uh, where I'm playing Flimsy's Dwarf. Uh, so yes, I look forward to you joining me then. Uh, until then, have a lovely time, and I'll speak to you then. Thank you for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.